Welcome to the demonstration portion of this video. Step one is to unload the P5. It's important to note that the P5 is not equipped with wheel brakes. We therefore strongly recommend, as shown here, that you winch the P5 on and off the truck, as well as when working on steep terrain. The guide roller stand is set up next to the well. Its multi-purpose design allows the P5 to tackle a wide variety of applications. The stand provides the support for the guide roller on plastic well casings or short well heights, as we illustrate here. Its unique design permits it to fold flat for easy storage and setup, but more than that, it gives the P5 system the ability to adapt to pump pits, work in pump houses, on plastic wells, or anywhere we don't have a steel well casing to hang the guide roller on. Once the guide roller has been set up, the P5 unit is transported to the well site. It is lightweight and easy to move around. And remember that at no time is the operator required to lift more than 50 pounds, even with the drum fully loaded. Note that the chains we are using here are only necessary to secure the machine to the guide roller stand if it is used. The P5 is now ready for use. The lid is removed from the drum cavity and enough cable is pulled out to reach down the well to the pitless. Note that the P5 system uses this cable and not traction on the pipe to pull the pump out of the ground. Other units whose designs use traction have been known to slip, and they also prevent you from being able to look down the well. This two-part key and swivel attaches the cable to this handle, which is then used to reach down the well. It then threads into the pitless. It's a good idea to make sure the handle screws into the pitless at least three to four turns, as this is what the pump is going to be lifted out by. At this point, it's a good idea to check the integrity of your cables and rigging before attempting to pull the pump. Next, you set the sliding handle to mark the height and direction of the pitless. You then swing the gearbox into the forward position, activating the automatic braking system. Take the slack out of the cable and, as an additional precaution, it's good practice to tie off the safety rope and or the wires to the drum. You then attach the optional power drive, a rigid model 700 threading machine, to the adapter. The adapter is equipped with a shear pin to protect the drivetrain from excessive pull. It's a fail-safe mechanism engineered to shear at 1,000 pounds pulling weight. In this well, there's a snappy type pitless with a trip cable. This specially designed grip handle makes that job easy. This handle works on everything from 1 8 cable to 5 8 inch rope. Holding the power drive in the 10 to 12 o'clock position is recommended as this allows the power drive to rotate slowly to a stop in the event that something gets stuck. Note that the integral automatic brakes hold the pump assembly in position at all times, maximizing operator safety. Once the pitless clears the well casing, the key handle is removed and a specially designed lever is used to maneuver the pitless over the guide roller. Watch closely and you'll see how well it works. Make sure you lift the power drive to the 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock position before engaging power while maneuvering the pitless over the roller. The pitless then rolls up inside the drum cavity which, as you can see, is big enough to accommodate even a 6 inch well seal. Note the conveniently located access panel on the far side of the drum. As you can see, there is no need to remove the pitless at any time during this procedure. Tuck the wires inside, replace the cover, and you now have a round drum that the pipe and wire spool up onto. The drivetrain design provides positive feedback through both the hand crank and the power drive. This allows you precise control and the ability to feel what is going on down the well. The P5 lifts at a minimum speed of 30 feet per minute. In the interest of safety, we should take this opportunity to remind you to keep both yourself and bystanders clear of moving parts and out of harm's way. We have found that it's a good idea to take up the slack in the safety rope about every 50 feet or so. 
This prevents binding down inside the well, especially when working with narrow diameter casings. Coming up next, what this whole business is about. What we came here for, the pump. When transporting a fully loaded P5, you should always take the precaution of securing the drum to the frame to prevent accidental unspooling. This is necessary because when the gearbox is folded up over the axle for ease of transport, the automatic braking system is disengaged. We are transporting about 150 feet of pipe and wire on this P5. Look how little effort is required and note also how the customer's lawn is left unharmed. As we have previously stated, pump sets up to 500 pounds can be safely handled by one operator. Again, in the interest of safety, we winch the P5 back up onto the truck. The rope attaches easily to the hand winch drum and up it goes. The P5 is designed for maximum portability. It will fit in any pickup box, even with a toolbox inside. Just lift the wheels over the tailgate. You could just as easily put the P5 in a trailer or a cube van. It works the way you work. The P5 can also be operated manually, that is, without the power drive. Here's how you set up for that. Raise the gearbox to a comfortable working height. Attach the handle and make sure it's tightened all the way down. Note here how the automatic braking system holds whether you're pulling the pump out or putting it back down. The brake releases when the handle is turned and engages when it stops. We find that the hand crank is an efficient method for installations because no power hookup is needed, although the power drive works here too. You can decide what you prefer. If you need to change the wire on the way back down, the P5 makes that easy too. Have a look, this is where the power drive can be very helpful during reinstallation. Now, in the last step, we show you how easy it is to put the pitless back in. The cover comes off the drum, the pitless is rolled out, we reattach our handle and maneuver the pitless back down the well. Note that the lever is not used in this part. Observe that you want the pitless and the ear on the adapter to be facing different directions when reinstalling the pitless so it will snap back into place properly. A ratcheting motion on the power drive and judicious use of power provide precise control as the pitless is reset. Note how the handle provides a height and direction guide making resetting the pitless a simple task. When resetting the pitless on a heavy or deep pump set, it's helpful to tie the safety rope off to the hand winch to take part of the weight. Again, a ratcheting motion with the power drive allows precise control during this procedure. So that's pretty much all there is to it. An efficient, safe, easy to use, one man pump pulling system. We've covered the high points of the P5 setup and operation here, but you've probably got at least one question that we'd be delighted to answer for you. So here's that phone number again, 1-888-756-7575, that's 1-888-756-P5-P5. Our thanks again for taking the time to watch this tape. We look forward to hearing from you soon.